Sometimes after a while the mental part of suffering is worse than the physical. The tradition of celebrating our veterans is almost sacred to Pat McLaughlin. It gives these guys something to do and gets them outside of themselves. A veteran as well as a musician, he's witnessed firsthand the healing powers of live music for those who've served our nation. There was a, a nurse came up and she pointed to a young man that had was in a wheelchair and he had a um, helmet on and um, she said he was a traumatic brain injury and she said she'd been working with him for like two months with music uh, on a digital music and she said she really didn't get much out of him and she said by the time we were done playing um, he had laughed a couple times and spoke in a complete sentence. It's why he began Vets for Music, a nonprofit bringing music to veterans' homes, ultimately giving birth to the annual Vets Fest, this year taking place in Oakdale on July 9th. We'll have three bands, uh, Bambi Alexandra and her country band, then my band, the Pat McLaughlin band, and then the Jorgensen. There will be an opening closing ceremony. It's free and all are welcome. Everyone's invited. Yeah, we we want to keep it free. So yeah, it's free to the public, veterans, their families, their loved ones. Anyone that supports veterans or music is more than welcome here.